a small but powerful crowd of guests that we have today. And I think this is a significant milestone in the journey of the NESC. Only last week we had our 15th anniversary and three, three days later we are celebrating our Nigerian cohorts, the very first cohorts at the NESC. And we are extremely proud and honored to be gathered here today to witness this ceremony. Um, there will be many people, important people, who have, who have gotten us or got us this far, and we would recognize them accordingly. But to carry on and to keep the program very tight, because I know we all have deadlines, I know His Excellency has, our own minister has some commitments as well. So I would call to the podium the chairman of NESC, Mr. Firoz Khan, who will bring welcome remarks. Mr. Firoz Khan. Thank you, President Kern, Master of Ceremonies for this afternoon. Honorable Fazal Karim, Minister of Tertiary Education and Skills Training. His Excellency Musa John Jen, High Commissioner from Nigeria to Trinidad, Mr. Godfrey Paul, CEO of Kess Consulting, other officials of the Nigerian High Commission, Ms. Lily Hirai, President of the Coover Point Leases Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Francis Bertrand, former Mayor of Point Fortin and consultant to the Nigerian Training Program in Trinidad, Mr. Nigel Forgini, Mr. Pascal Marcelin, Mr. Sunita Ganpat, members of staff of the NESC, and most important this afternoon, the graduates. A special welcome, and how can I forget Pat sitting in front of me? Pat, special welcome to you too. Today is a significant day for the NESC and for our graduates as it represents the end of a journey that started in December last year with the arrival of an initial batch of 85 trainees from Nigeria to the NESC. Today is historic because it is the first graduation ceremony of these Nigerian trainees at the NESC. We do look forward to having future cohorts of trainees and indeed, as we speak, we would have had 70 Nigerian trainees who would have arrived over the last few days to commence training at the NESC Drilling School. And over the next few days, we have another 43 students who will be coming to commence training in the area of welding at the NESC. But no matter who comes and when they come, there will not be another first graduating class. And I want the first graduating class of Nigerian students to give yourself a lusty round of applause. Today, you have created history for yourself. Today, you will make your High Commissioner proud, you will make the High Commission proud, and when you return to Nigeria, you will make your families proud, and you will be able to make the entire country of Nigeria proud to have you back as skilled craftsmen who will add to the economy of Nigeria. And I want to thank you sincerely for the experience that you would have had with us here at the NESC and to trust that when you go back to Nigeria over the next few days that you will be able to carry the message of the NESC and carry the story of the NESC and Trinidad and Tobago and that you will become ambassadors of Trinidad and Tobago to the rest of Nigeria. Encourage